Hello internet people, are your website users getting lost because you have so much content on your website but no easy way to find it? In this video I'll show you how to add a search bar to a WordPress menu and sidebar. For the menu we will need a plugin and for the sidebar WordPress has a built-in widget. Arnie, how do you feel about search bars? Sweat punch. All right, I'm in my WordPress dashboard. In the left menu, go to plugins and click on add new. In the search box, type search to menu. Then install a plugin called Ivory Search. Once it's done, don't forget to activate the plugin. You should have a new section in the left menu called Ivory Search. Just click on it. The plugin is asking you to grant permission to update you on stuff, but we can skip it. This plugin has a lot of settings to play around with. Some are available in the free version, some you need to upgrade to the paid version. But I know, you guys think paid stuff is... It's all bullshit! All of it! So in the post types, disable attachments, unless you want users to see attachment files like images and PDFs in the search results. As mentioned, there are a lot of things you can customize here, but by default it works pretty well, so you can just play around with the settings later. So scroll down and click on save. Then in the left menu, under Ivory Search, click on settings. Here. Select your primary menu, it might be called something else in your theme, but just see which one you're using as the main menu. And click on save. There are different form styles you can choose from, but I find the default one works the best. If you have a cache plugin installed, don't forget to purge the cache before you look at your website. No problemo. And now, if you look at your website, you should see a search bar in your menu. Please note that yours might look different. It really depends on how your theme has been built and styled. Now, you can search anything on your site just by typing some keywords and then you will land on the search results page. By the way, if you are using Google Analytics, I have a video on how to start tracking what people search on your site the video will appear in the top right corner right now. Arnie, give them a preview of the tutorial. I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. If you are enjoying the video so far, I would be thankful if you can hit the like button. That will help me a lot. Thanks. So, WordPress doesn't provide the ability to change search bar placeholder text and submit button text. If you have a website with multi-languages, then you could do it there or the easiest way is to update it directly in the code. Let me show you how you can do it. In the left menu, go to Appearance and click on Editor. In the right column, search for a file called searchform.php and click on it. Now, if you use child theme, then you might not have this file in your child theme. If that's the case, you need to copy it from your main theme to the child theme to do that, you need to use FTP or your hosting's file manager. But the rest of the process is the same. This page contains code for the search bar, so try to find the placeholder text in the code and then change the text for the placeholder to what you want. At the bottom of the page, click on update file and purge the cache if you need. Now if you go to your website and refresh the page, you will see that the placeholder text has changed. If you want to change the search submission button, you would do it in the same search form.php file. But you have to find the HTML element that is called button and which also has type equals submit and change the value to what you want. But make it as compelling as this guy. Don't leave my wife, my soul, my sweetheart. My only woman. All right, next I'm going to show you how to enable search bar in the sidebar. And this is something you can do without the plugin. In the left menu, go to appearance and choose widgets. 
Here, scroll down until you can see Search in the available widgets. Then click on it. Choose where you want to search bar to show up and click on Add Widget. Now you will see that there is a new widget in your sidebar. If you want, then give the search field a title and save the changes. Again, if needed, clear the cache and head to your website and refresh it. As you can see, the sidebar has a search field now. Great job! My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!